When you last heard from Andrew and I, we were 20 miles in the wilderness having just caught the legendary California Golden Trail. The next day had us waking up at 4.30 in the morning to do what can only be described as a death march. It was well over 20 miles of hiking through some rough country, dodging rattlesnakes and taking in the views one last time. We survived the hike and immediately our focus shifted. Day 5 had us back on California public land in search of our fourth new native trout, the Lahontan Cutthroat. Alright guys, going after Lahontan Cutthroat. This creek supposedly has a minute, but you know, who knows if that's actually the truth or not. What do you think, Andrew? I think. I don't know what I think. Andrew has no thoughts, his mind is empty. All right, guys, update. We went to the creek and you literally cannot cast. And I looked at the aerial view of this creek, obviously before I came out here, and I know that up further, it should be a pretty legit kind of spring creek that just runs through this deserty meadow area. So we're gonna hike up the stream like a mile or two, see what it looks like up there. And if all else fails, we'll just get out of here and try a different creek somewhere in the area. The Lahontan cutthroat is a unique fish. It's the largest trout species native to North America, can survive in temperatures pushing 78 degrees, and can live in salt water something you wouldn't think a landlocked trout could do. Having originated in the high deserts, this is one unique looking trout. So when we had to hike another four miles to find some open water, we didn't complain too much. But this creek was tiny. So small in fact that at first glance, we didn't think there was any water because of the overhanging grass. But when we eventually got to this culvert crossing, we immediately saw trout. Definitely Lahontan Cutties. I can't, Andrew, you gotta give me a second. Well, they're all kinda, I don't know what's going on. Where was it at? Is that the, towards like two or three. Like, like the culvert? Yeah, I mean, it's kinda gone now. Like, they're kinda swimming around. You can still catch it one like Is that in the water? I don't think I can cast up to the culvert. I have to cast like right here. Is that in the water? Oh, it's coming through. Oh, cast uh, again. Oh, it's got to be a one. What? This thing is gorgeous. I told you. It's that's the, in the, water, in the back. That's the prettiest trout I've ever seen. I told you that's right there. What the heck, dude? Look how pretty this thing is. That is probably the prettiest cutthroat trout I've ever caught. Where's my rod at? Look at this creek we're fishing too. I mean, it's just teeny tiny. I don't know where he casted. He ate it! You got him, you got him, you got him. Oh, I have the net. Hey. That is red. He's so red, dude. Please. All right, guys, so this is my first uh, low haunt and cutthroat, and these might be one of the prettiest trout I've ever seen or caught. I mean, look at this, guys. Just absolutely stunning red colors. And look at that. It's not focusing. Still not focusing. Focused. Hold it out a little bit further. Yep, perfect. Perfect. You can let it go. Sweet. Well, I mean, that's probably, that's probably one of the prettiest trout I've ever seen. Just bright red, like speckles throughout, stunning trout. So keep fishing. Hopefully we can find some more, maybe some bigger ones. I mean, this creek is like two feet wide. It's several feet uh, deep there, which is why, why it's probably so good. So we're gonna keep fishing around and hopefully find some more of these guys for you. Jesus, dude. Yeah. Okay, well, let's try right here real quick. Yeah, try up there. I mean, I couldn't see anymore, but. And there was that one bigger one that. There's two big ones when you. Oh, oh it ate it. Did it? Yeah. Oh my gosh, it's a big one. I told you. 
Are you recording? Yeah, I am actually. Oh my god, that's the biggest one yet. Get that in there. That's a good one. How big is that? That's a that's a 13 inch. 13 inch fish? That might be a 14. <laughs> that's insane, dude. That's definitely the biggest one. I didn't even see him eat it, I just heard the slurp. Look how big. I mean, I mean all these fish, by the way, guys, have come but blow this culvert right here this is a 14 inch trout yeah all right so i just caught the biggest one so far and it just happens that andrew actually hooked this fish and lost it like two seconds ago it broke him off um and it's all been in this one little pocket we haven't even really started fishing the creek but i'm gonna hold this fish up so you guys can get a look at him real quick because these fish are just incredible this is like probably a 13 14 inch fish look at that. oh yeah that's good so anyways i'm gonna get I'm gonna go ahead and get a release of this fish and then we'll just keep fishing, I guess. We got plenty of creek to fish, so we're just gonna mess around and see if we can't catch a really big one or a particularly colorful one too, because our days have already been made. But before we get too far into this video, I just wanted to let you know that this series is sponsored by Red's Flies. Red's is a family owned small business with the goal to sell flies to help raise money for conservation. They have a variety of fly patterns such as the Tungsten Hotspot PT, the Parachute Adams, and the Tungsten Mini Leech, which are just a few of my favorites. Red's also just dropped a box of flies that I personally picked out called Hardman's Picks for any new anglers looking to get into fly fishing or for those who just want a solid box of flies. So go show Red's flies some support and get a few flies using code HFA for 15% off your next order. Now let's get back to the video. Got him. Good one. Red, red, red. That's a big one. Whoa, dude, look at that fish. Look oh that fish. my gosh, it has no spots. It's a hybrid. It's a Paiute. <laughs> it's a Paiute, dude. That fish is insane. How did the Now that was some genuine excitement. Andrew then proceeded to sit down and drift the fly through the culvert and caught yet another cutthroat. These fish had either never seen a fly in their life or there were so many that they felt the need to eat anything that touched the water. And these fish were big for the size of water they were living in, which is not surprising considering they can quite literally grow in excess of 40 pounds in lakes and rivers. This ended up being some of the most ridiculous fishing we had ever had. Oh shoot, there's like 20 of them. The biggest one's way on the left, but I don't know how to do that with all the grass. No, there was like a someone double the size that tried to eat it. I don't know what to do how to do this. I'm like literally so far from the creek. Oh my gosh, there was one right there. That's a good fish too. Double that size? I don't know about double, there's at least a couple inches bigger. I'm gonna lean down and get my hand. What? There's two of them. Two big ones. Oh my god. He pulled it out of his mouth. See it. <laughs> this is the dumbest thing I've ever done. Oh, I mean, uh, we already, I mean, we're done. We are only on 10 yards. How much fun is this, sh dude? Uh. He jumped out of the water. Do you see that? Do you think we could get him to jump for it? Oh my gosh. It's not a very big one. I don't care. I have to step back so I can, the rod's too long. Hold on. That's not what I want to do either. Boom. <laughs> he learned it. I'll drop in right here then. Catch a different one. Oh, it's a big one, dude. It's a giant. <laughs> he jumped out of the water for it though. What am I supposed to do about this one? 
Hold on, let's go back. No, no, no. I got it, I got it, I got it. Let's go step back here. Ooh, we can get shot with the flowers here. And the fish. Oh my god. Oh well, it's fine. There'll be more where that came from. There's a cut. Well, there's a cut right next to you. Right here in front of you? This? Where I'm dropping the fly? Yeah, but may hold it up a little bit. Yeah. Why can't I move that fish? Jeez, dude, look how hard it's fighting. That's a big one. That's a huge fish. Oh my gosh, it's gigantic. Oh my gosh. Oh no. Oh no. It's gigantic. No. Holy cow, it's huge. Is it? It's huge. Oh my god. <laughs> Let's go. <sighs> dude, I set the hook and I was like, why can't I move it? Because <laughs> it's huge. That's a that's a big one, dude. Yeah, dude. You ain't kidding. Look how big that thing is, dude. Holy shit. Holy That's like 15, 16 inch fish, probably. I'm stepping on mine. Right, 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 right. Sorry. Dude, that's a big one, dude. That's a huge cutthroat. Holy heck, that's a 15 that's inch, dude. That's a 15 all day. I'm trying to make sure I don't fall in the water. That's fine, I, I got it. After dropping flies in between blades of grass for 100 yards or so, we finally came to a bend in the creek with an open pocket. This enabled us to set up and get some insane dry fly eats on film. Enjoy. It's cast towards the left, sort of. Yeah. Yep. That will be the most insane shot you've ever seen. Yeah. It's a real big one. I'll try to get that big pop. Go ahead. You want the nut? Here, take the nut for this one. Pretty guy. Yeah, that's a pretty one. You can't help but feel fortunate when you're plucking trout after trout out of a tiny little stream like this one. I've had some hard days of fishing, but this definitely wasn't one of them. It made the hike up to this section of water worth every single second. All right, guys. So this is just a tiny little creek that we're fishing here. So what we're using, is we're using 6X, we probably could use whatever we wanted to because I don't think the fish care. Um, and we've got a little hopper pattern because we're in this big meadow and there's grasshoppers everywhere. And we're literally just walking up to a hole like this one, like anywhere that we can get the fly in the water, essentially. And we are dropping the fly in the water and the fish is eating it. And then we're catching it and that's how it's working. <laughs> I mean, it's so easy that I can literally just tell you guys how we're doing it and then catch the fish. If I can get to the water. It's not a bad fish, actually. Come here, buddy. Whoa, Nelly. Got him. So, anyways, go ahead and try to get this fish released. But the creek's not very wide, but it's pretty deep. It's undercut in here. So the fish have plenty of places to hide. And it's producing multiple, like 12 to 14 inch fish. And some are even bigger if you can find them. Here, hold on. In the water. <laughs> That's a good one. Oh my gosh. Isn't it? It's right here. I'm just gonna lift it up or try to. Oh my god, that is a good one. Wow. Well, it's a good one to end on, even though it wasn't the best footage of all time. <laughs> Andrew's last fish of the day. I'm gonna 
something in bust too. There we go. Ready? It's very light hook. Yeah. Well. And with that, we ended our day and hiked back to the car. We honestly fished for less than two hours that day, but felt like we had caught enough fish to last a lifetime, most of which I didn't even put in this video. These Lahontan cutthroat were probably some of the prettiest cutthroat that I've ever personally caught. But to be honest, this day was kind of a warm up, because we knew that day six in California was going to have us hiking into the middle of nowhere in an attempt to catch the rarest trout on earth. That's right folks, you won't want to miss the next video.